I'm Chris Shattuck, and this is Introduction to our Project and Reviewing Mockups. In this chapter, we're going to get the resources we need from the client in order to build our site. We'll review the mockups and map them to elements on our newly installed Drupal site, and then we'll make a few adjustments and run into a bug along the way. In this series of videos, we're going to build a Drupal site from start to finish. The only thing that you need to get started is an empty Drupal installation. If you're new to working with websites or you're not comfortable setting up Drupal on a local server, you can use some of the tools that we mentioned in the introduction, such as Bitnami or Acquia Dev Desktop, to simply install Drupal like you would any other desktop application without having to install and configure a complete local web server yourself. Our approach to building this site will be extremely practical. Along the way, we're going to run into many common problems, and we'll not only discuss how to solve these particular problems, but we'll also uncover the tools that you can use to solve future problems as you build other Drupal sites. As you watch these videos for the first time, there will probably be times where you feel like you missed something, or hear some term used without really understanding what it means. That's okay, because the idea of this example is to demonstrate how interrelated all of the parts of Drupal are, and to lay down a context which we can then use in future videos to go deeper into specific topics. Because of the interrelatedness of various aspects of Drupal, sometimes we'll need to use terms or reference concepts that we haven't covered yet. Chances are, though, by the time that our site is complete and you get to the last videos, you'll know exactly what we were talking about at the beginning. Okay, let's go ahead and set the stage for this project. We've been hired by an adventure company called Magnificent to build their website. In our first interview with the founder, Phil Terry, we learned a bit about their company. Phil started Magnificent after working as a guide for a larger company and deciding that the kind of tours that they were doing just weren't interesting enough. So he convinced a few of the other guides to come work for him, taking clients on extreme tours like base jumping, mountain climbing, and a new sport he invented called extreme snorkeling. The company is really taking off, and they've hired a marketing manager, Heather Hanks, to help them grow even more. They've known that they've needed a web presence for a while, but just haven't had the time to put together a site of their own. Luckily for us, they have a pretty good idea of what they need. In fact, they even hired a graphic designer to put together some mock-ups of the site. Phil added a few notes to the mock-ups to give some indication of what the different parts are supposed to do, and then he contacted us to see about making it a real site. Of course we were up for the challenge, so we had Heather send us a resource pack that included the mockups, some image resources like the logo, and the data for upcoming tours as well as the list of guides. So to begin with, let's go ahead and look through that resource pack and see what we have to work with. 